Hey, good morning, y'all. Help me, Pat. Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. Thank, Thank God. God. The, the Word, word works. works. Hey, on my way to church this morning. This is what the Bible says in Proverbs, I believe it's chapter 18, verse 19. It says, life and death are in the power of the tongue. Nobody's going to shoot me and kill me. My body's not going to get sick and kill me, but my words would kill me quicker than any weapon that was ever formed by man because the power of life and death are in the power of the tongue. Now, you might see my two of my grandchildren back there behind me. They spent the night last night. So I'm going to let them say good morning. Say good morning, Valentine. Come on, say it. Say good morning, Valentine. Good morning. Say good morning, Alex. Good morning. Say hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Okay, hey, they got excited. Now, <clears throat> this is why you need to learn to guard your words more than anything else. People are all the time going around saying, my shoes are killing me, when life and death are in the power of the tongue. Or there's some new movie comes out and somebody says, oh, I'm just dying to go to see the new movie. No, 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 I am not dying to go anywhere, and I certainly am not going to let my shoes kill me. Now, now watch this. Or how about this one? <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> um, boy, that just tickles me to death. <laughs> how about it tickling you to life? My Bible says with long life, help me, Pat, long, long life. life until I'm fully satisfied. So yes. I'm not tickled to death. I'm tickled to life. My shoes are not killing me. My shoes are blessing me yes. to long life. Yes. You see, <clears throat> people are so used to being negative that they don't think it's strange when they say, I'm just dying to go or I can't this or that. You know, no, don't say that. Let me show you this. Somebody says, how do you get someplace? You say, go to the third red light and turn right. I'm going to tell you something. That light's green just as much as it's red, but people call it a red light because they're negative. Well, we got to be positive so that we can live this long life. Now, um, help me a little bit here, Pat, because I want you to say this. When somebody says, like this morning, I went for my walk and one of my neighbors come out and says, I said, how you doing, sir? He said, well, for an old man, I'm doing quite well. Uh, he said, you know, I have a hard time getting up and then I can't get my brain to connect with my body because after all, I'm getting old. Well, I didn't want to rebuke him, but I got to thinking about that. I get up full of vim and vigor. I get up in the power of God. I get up with the blessings of God that are overtaking me. And I get up ready to go because my body doesn't tell me what to do. And I'm not going to let my tongue uh, set on fire. Pat, help me. The, the course, course of, of nature. nature. So if you get 70 years old, 80 years old, and you start saying, I'm tired and I'm wore out and, you know, I don't have much to do and all that other stuff, your tongue will set on fire the course of nature. And you need to get this. Life and death, help me, are, are in, in the, the power, power of, of the, the tongue. tongue. So they that love life will love the fruit of their tongue, ah, yes. and they'll start talking right. Hey, I got to go. Y'all have a great day, and remember all day, life and death in the power of the tongue, and until I'm with you tomorrow, remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the, the word, word works. works.